jiggle, 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 jiggle away, camera. <laughs> I'm really excited again to be here. So thank you for spending some time with me. Yay! Boop, boop, boop. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> before I even get started, I just wanted to thank everyone who left a comment on my previous video. Thank you so much. What a wonderful welcome back to YouTube. So thank you. I love you guys so much. Your support means a lot to me. So continue commenting, asking your questions, making great suggestions, which you have. So thank you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> so before I get started on today's topic, let's just uh, talk about this channel really quickly and maybe how best to watch these videos. So imagine I'm a person, right? Let's pretend I'm a human being somewhere in the world and I'm talking with you. So think of these videos as a moment of like having coffee with an old friend who's gonna have a monologue at you, because <laughs> unfortunately, this is a bit of a one-sided conversation. But remember the comment section. That's a place for you folks to get in on the conversation and ask me questions and ask each other questions too. That's also very, very cool. Ba, ba, ba. It's like a group learning experience. Yes? Yes. Ah. <laughs> And another great way to enjoy these videos is you don't necessarily have to watch them. So you can always have them playing in the background as ambient noise and maybe an ASMR voice experience. And hopefully the information is also good. <laughs> So today, I thought, what a great way to open this rebirth of my channel by talking about the neurodivergent awakening. Now, with this channel, please understand that I am um, very spiritual and I'm on uh, a journey for spiritual enlightenment. Now, I've been on this journey for 25 years and I am continuing to go and grow. And I have to say, leaps and bounds. Uh, the more I learn, the less I actually know. I know how cheesy that all sounds. It's so cliche, uh, but it's true, at least for myself. It's just, it's so interesting. And to be more succinct, what I think is really interesting is consciousness, awareness, and expanding our consciousness. And like the title suggests, this is for a more neurodivergent audience. If you're new to this channel, or if you've forgotten, I am neurodivergent. It really doesn't matter in terms of what disorder I have or what my neurodivergent looks like. Just know that it is very different than the average person and it can cause a lot of complications in my life. And things have gotten better, but it can still be quite the struggle. With that being said though, when I'm thinking about the awakening experience, now a lot of this on this channel is gonna be about some of that. <laughs> I just wanted to prime all of you so that you understand that the nature of this channel and sort of its direction. So if you do find some of the explanations and videos um, rather reductive or redundant or irrelevant, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, hopefully though, you will find some value in the things that I share. So I suppose first what I would need to do is give you my definition of neurodivergent, which would be probably helpful. <laughs> just because that word can mean so many different things to so many different people. When I watch information and when I'm doing my own research in terms of consciousness into philosophy, as well as into this awakening, process that's happening to the human race right now, I find a lot of it is really great information. And it's also really seems, at least in my opinion, to be centered on more neurotypical um, individuals. And I think that's great because everyone, everyone on this planet can benefit from opening their minds, expanding their consciousness and waking up. <laughs> it is um, here for everyone. This channel though, and because of who I am, neurodivergence with the awakening process is kind of a little bit different, I think, at least in my own experience. So now that we know what neurodivergent means, what do I mean by the awakening or awakened or wake up or <laughs> expanding your consciousness? What do I mean about by that? So basically what I mean by this is 
Right now, <laughs> we are in such a critical um, moment in human history. From my research and from my own experiences, I know that um, over the eons, everything's kind of cyclical, and we do have these returnings of golden ages. We do have these real, real leaps, leaps in terms of growth in our consciousness, in our artistic abilities and our abilities to live together <laughs> in harmony. So for myself, when I talk about like awakening, that really means waking up to who you really are without any of the stories that you tell yourself, just that who you actually are in this world and what is actually real. And so this is where it gets a little bit tough for neurodivergent people, just because you know, thinking about your symptoms and the array of challenges and also the difference in how your brain is wired. <laughs> Things like feeling present, feeling grounded, feeling real, feeling whole, or feeling like you live in a real world can be a challenge. Again, depending on uh, the neurodivergence that you face. And so when you're trying to meditate, you're trying to get down to the core self, you're journeying within, that can really be mired and really, really, really slowed down and um, negatively affected by symptoms. And I know for myself, definitely that's, that's held true. <laughs> like a lot of people out there, I can be really, really bad with my own self, with my own thoughts, and I can be really hard on myself. And I can also get very impatient and frustrated with myself. <laughs> <laughs> just because, uh, you know, I do have complex post-traumatic stress and I just feel like I'm, I, you know, it takes a lot out of you. And then when you think about awakening on top of that, when you think about consciousness, when you think about having to sit down and ground yourself and be silent and still uh, so that you can take that journey within, it can be so challenging. And so therefore, I really would suggest no matter where you are on your spiritual journey to really, really get to know who you are. Boop. On this channel, I'm gonna do my very best to not tell you how to go about your spiritual journey or your awakening process, because that is a very personal journey and that is on you, boop. You know yourself the best and the universe will speak to you in, in a manner that will make sense to you. One thing that I do find um, in my own spiritual journeys, now I've had a lot of spiritual experiences and a lot of delvings into what I would call the quantum realm. And when I look at that and I look at myself, <laughs> I really had to learn some basics. I really had to learn how to um, ground myself. I had to learn to quiet my thoughts. And I had to learn um, how to meditate in a way that was useful for me. I know like for many people out there, especially our neurodivergent crowd, meditation can be really, really difficult because often we're told to stay still, you know, and don't move and just try to empty your mind. And that doesn't work for a lot of people, especially if you're a little bit more rambunctious or if you've got some hyperactivity and you just need to move all the time. I, when I meditate, folks, um, I wiggle my feet. <laughs> I sort of center that hyperactivity and that, um, that discomfort of being still. I just kind of wiggle my feet while I meditate. Maybe that'll help for you. It was a suggestion that uh, a therapist had made to me years ago about meditation. And I was like, I just cannot stay still and I cannot focus. And she was like, well, why do you want to stay still? Ah. So no matter who you are or where you're at on your journey, I just, I hope you want to start a spiritual journey. This channel um, will be for you if you uh, want to. And being neurodivergent, there is uh, nothing wrong with being different. There is nothing wrong with having, you know, a different wiring. Absolutely not. I'm here to tell you that you're just fine and that although you may have some challenges and that you have some symptoms, getting to know your own self and getting to know your disorders and how they affect you is gonna be paramount in terms of um, embarking on a deeper self-discovery for sure. <laughs> So, so much peace to you. I love you all. I know that this is a bit of a shorter vid video. Um, I just want to set some of the, the tone and the ground, you know, the little bit of a solid foundation before we really get into some of the more advanced uh, information that I have to share with you. If you do fall in the camp of neurodivergent, welcome to this channel and let's embark on this spiritual awakening journey together. Let's expand these consciousness. Let's move beyond sort of where humanity is right now and let's um, welcome this evolutionary process that's happening.
Bye. <laughs> Please take care. And I love you all so much. Remember, comment below your thoughts, your feelings. How do you feel being neurodivergent and on your awakening journey? I would love to hear a little bit about that. So leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Uh, all that good stuff. Being a good YouTuber. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>